What is the biggest difference between the U.S. and China? Do you think China is like almost expected, and even if you're an adult, like a real adult, like have kids, wife and kids, you still expect to do to do that, and it's almost I wouldn't want to be in that situation. And、uh, I I think it is because there's so much competitions. Like if you don't do the job, someone else is gonna. And it's starting to feel a little more like that in America now because when I think about China, I think their growth is very very fast. After the 2000, so what is that growth come from? Do you think China is a lot quicker to get the policy done? The central government is like a whole structure. So I know a lot of companies in China actually have this phrase saying something along the line like "We're gonna stick to the policy." So whatever the policy is, they're going to come up with. Ways to make money according to that. So from that you can just see how I know it couldn't be expressed like a war, but not just country. Which characteristics of company would win that AI war? So first of all, could you briefly introduce yourself? Yeah. So, hi everyone. My name is Marco. I met Heechan just now. I'm a machine learning engineer at Uber, and、uh, I've been in the U.S. for almost ten years now.、Uh, I study computer science and math in Brandeis University, and then I got into a master's program at Carnegie Mellon, and then dropped out of my master's program to come here. And culturally, I started、uh, studying the U.S. in 2016, where I was in a Catholic high school. And I was living with、uh, a lot of Korean people. Okay, then where are you from? I'm from China. I'm from the city called Hangzhou. It's where Alibaba is. My family actually lives 15 minutes walk away from the Alibaba campus. Then we will talk about AI. I heard that you worked in the Alibaba before. Oh yeah. Then what is the biggest difference in the company culture between the U.S. and China? Do you think?、Uh, yeah, I'm mean, speaking from very. Subjective stance. I, I love our countries. I think、uh, our countries are great. So I was a freshman, and so I, I can't speak for the full-time employees.、Uh-huh. But what I hear is that people worked out very, very late, and it's almost accepted. I I do hear that、um, in China, managers want their employees to have this thing called a wolf mentality, which means they are hungry、mm-hmm. for achievements、mm-hmm. and will never stop. I I think that's a great quality. I just wouldn't do that for the shareholders. I wouldn't do that for a big company. I want to do that for myself. And they're they're doing for their promotion. And the manager obviously is in the manager's favor if their employee is hungry for power for progress, so that the manager's team has more progress than the other teams. I think that's come from competitiveness, which is not a thing in most American tech companies. My team is really intense, which I'm very grateful for. My team、uh, people usually work. Overtime.、Uh, we don't even call it overtime. We just call it work. So, I, I, I'm grateful for this actually because I think early career is really good for my growth. And、uh, when I have kids and families, obviously I'm gonna think of something else. But for now, I think it's great for my stage, twenty、mm-hmm. uh, something. You know, I don't have a friend.、Uh, I don't have families. <laughs>、uh, so, <laughs> for them, slip. I don't have families、uh, here, so I don't have kids to take care of, and I, I don't mind working a little more. But China is like almost expected, and even if you're an adult, if you're like like a real adult, like have kids, wife and kids,、uh, husband and kids, spouse and kids, and stuff, you really you still expect to do to do that, and it's almost I wouldn't want to be in that situation, and、uh, I I think it it's because there's so much competitions. Like if you don't do the job, someone else is gonna, and it's starting to feel a little more like that in America now because of course. CS majors, computer science majors. It is harder and harder to get a full-time job for internships as well. I, I think it's just、uh, depends on what you want in your life. Do you value your time off of work more, or do you value a promotion or a good name or good pay more?、Uh, it really depends. But、um, Chinese companies, they they don't really pay that well comparing with San Francisco. But that's that's like not a fair statement because San Francisco pays the best. And I would say China pays like the big tech in China, like Alibaba.、Uh, they pay pretty well comparing with like neighboring countries or even Europe. Considering like the, I wouldn't say the conversion rate, but considering like the cost of living. Yeah, I, I, it is a lot cheaper. So it, they do pay really well still.、Uh, just not comparing with San Francisco. This and, is the highest. Yeah, I would say highest in the world, and also pretty expensive to living. Then、uh, maybe 
when I think about China, I think their growth is very, very fast yeah. after the 2000. So what is that growth come from, do you think? I, I have some opinions about this. Um, I think it's a policy. The policy makers, they would, like America would often say that China is producing unfair advantage because they have a lot of unfair subsidies mm -hmm. that makes fair market um, worse because of the subsidies. And that comes from policies because um, China wanted um, more electric vehicles. So they gave a lot of good incentives to have electric vehicles, including it's easier to get a plate. Like my parents' gas car, we it costs a lot of money just to get a plate. Mm. So you, you spend a lot of money on the car and you spend a lot of money on the plate just so you can drive it because it's a gas car. But for an electric car, you don't need to go through all that. It's yeah. super quick, super easy, super cheap. And you just got to buy the car. Uh, and then you can almost drive it. So it's a lot of policy and that, that definitely contributed. The difference between the, the American structure, uh, the bureaucracy and then the Chinese structure is there's pros and cons obviously, but China, uh, and I think a lot of people agree on this too. So China is a lot quicker to get the policy done. The central government, it's like a whole structure. Uh, I, I wouldn't get into it, but if the central government wants something done, the local government will execute it. And um, if you execute it well, it's really fast. And if the policy is good, it's going to have an effect very quick. So I know a lot of companies in China actually have this phrase saying something along the line like we're going to stick to the policy. So whatever the policy is, they're going to come up with ways to make money according to that. So from that, you can just see how strong the power for the policies are. And I think that's if you make right policies, it's going to drive the country forward. And uh, I heard a lot of people say that in America, bureaucracy and all that stuff makes it a lot harder to push policy through. It, it stops a lot of bad policies, but it also hinders a lot of the good policies from taking effect and making things good. Yeah, and I think uh, I think that's just the different policy, like how two countries are set up. China is a very young country, like the PRC is a really young country. So I think that's also a reason why it's uh, able to get things done very fast. Uh, and China has a huge population. So the, the GDP is understandable that it's, it's high because a lot of people, a lot of opportunities. Uh, yeah, I'm mean, speaking from very subjective stance. I, I love all countries. I think uh, all countries are great. Then when deep seek out, <laughs> yeah. the, like, there's an impact in the world, yeah. like AI technology war. I know it couldn't be expressed like a war, but not just country, which characteristics of company would win that AI war, do oh, you AI think? War. So obviously AI is shouldn't be a war. People should all benefit from the AI. Uh -huh. And I hope AI would be more human centric. But going back to the question, the company that adopts first, uh, that adopts it well are obvious this is like BS but obviously the company that does it well is gonna win the race and um, one characteristics that I see is that companies that plan for what future AI's capacity can do is the one that that will use it well like if you plan for what current AI capacity can do, you're always going to be behind because it takes time for developers to develop it and it takes time for technology to catch up mm -hmm. within the company using the AI. So it's better if you plan ahead. You try thinking about what the AI is going to do in like a year or two and then plan for strategies around that. That's, uh, that's how you win the war. But what I'm really hoping is that AI is something that everybody can benefit from. It can make humans life a lot better. Okay, then sometimes people say that AI is a bubble. So we can sometimes agree about that because the technical have always rise and fall and the Web3 or NFT, something like that falling now. So uh, how do you think about it? Do you think the technology is really changing or the AI is a bubble? That's a good question. So well, if we take a step back, mm -hmm. we zoom out the technology. So we look at Web3 also, uh -huh. we look at cell phones. We look at computers, personal right. computers. They're, they're here to stay. Cell phones are here to stay. Right. Wi-Fi is here to stay. Internet is here to stay. Blockchain, we don't know yet. AI, we don't know yet, right? But if we take a step back, we will realize that all the progress in technology is from the computing gets a lot faster, gets a lot smaller, gets a lot cheaper. So think of cell phone. That's right. It's be able to think of all the computers. It's able to fit in a smaller space and stronger. That's why we can have ChatGPT. Uh, because the pro uh, the computing just gets a lot faster. They basically the power to run uh, the computing power to run a GPT model was unbelievable in the 
10 years ago, 20 years ago. That's why people thought it was a joke. The paper came out, people thought it was a joke to do AI. Because it's just, it requires so much computing that it doesn't make sense. Well, it makes sense now. It doesn't seem that expensive now. So the progress will always be like that. And if you think of AI, it's because the computing allows us to do this. So I think it's here to stay just because it's just a progress of the product of better computing power.